Now that we've covered splines, we can move on to these nerve objects. Now I'll discuss the hypernerves a little bit later, but right now I want to, I want to discuss these other basic nerve objects. Let's we'll start with the extrude nerve. And notice these little white lines here. This indicates that they use splines. They, use, they actually use spines to produce the shape. The shape. So if we get a flower, and we stick we stick the flower inside of the extrude nerves object. We'll, we'll have an extrude. So there it is. And of course, we still have control over the flower. We can change all the various aspects that you can change in the flower, and any other shape we have. We can even make it edible and go in and change the points we would like to move them around just change it however we would like and we also have the option of caps once again we can take the caps off mm -hmm. and then we're just left with the outline so if we render that with control R you'll just get the out, the out the geometry outline of your spline of course you still have control over that just the same but if you want your caps you can always put them back on and notice you have a selection of different caps you can use. You can use the fillet cap, which kind of kind of like a just a bevel on the side there. Complete cap. There we go. So there, you can, there's a few different options there. Not a whole lot, but some. Now hole inwards de determines whether your spline is coming in or out right here whether it's actually constrained bubbling out or bubbling in you can uh, also change that under with constrain what that actually does is constrains your outer outer ring around here right to the spline you see we got our spline there so if we change we go back to caps we change hole inwards notice how it changes without changing where your actual actual spline outline is located and of course you have uh, quite a variety of more options you can change the radius how you'd like and how smooth you want something to be and you can also change the fillet type it can be a half circle so render that and you've got uh, there's several options available there now, if we go to type ingons that have the actual caps, you can change that to triangles or quadrangles or quads, <laughs> as I like to call them. Uh, or if you plan on using with a def deformer, well, it'd probably be best to use a grid. And you can uh, adjust uh, <laughs> how fine your grid is. Uh, the finer it is, the easier it is to deform if you plan on deforming it. Otherwise, you can just leave it as as is. Now let's um, go over a few more deformers here, or I mean, not deformers, <laughs> nerve objects. Let's go to the lathe nerve. Okay, once again, let's uh, get a spline. Now this time we're going to middle click and go into uh, our front view here, and uh, I'll middle click. And, uh, and uh, as you see, just just looking at the icon. It revolves around the spline. So if we just draw a spline, I guess a simple, simple bowl will work here. All right. <coughs> Middle click. Go back into perspective view. Oh, fairly large. Size that down a little bit. Oops. Okay. All right, so we got a spline. Let's stick it inside of the lathe nerve. Now, uh, notice it just revolves right around it. But notice there's a hole in there. If we want to get rid of that hole, we can go back into our front view here and just select these points and bring them right to the axis there. And notice it's more importantly it's to the axis of this object, the, the center of this object, because we can move this around and it doesn't affect that. Well, if we uh, select all this, move our spine around, we can uh, we can see an effect there. And we can get uh, whatever shape we would like there. Let's uh, correct this. Let's bring the size 
location to zero. Now we have our spray. And of course, we're going to again change the shape of the and uh, no, the shape and the style of our spline. So we'll just go here, change this uh, different different type here. So you that's a lot smoother there. But if we use uh, go to NB, which is on the display here, right there, ground shading with lines. You notice that the geometry is not equally spaced between between points. It depends on how many points you use and uh, the, the smoothness of the curve. Of course, if you use a linear curve, then the, the points are the same, which is why I usually prefer to use a linear curve and can in conjunction with that, you can use a hypernerm and just drag that into there. Now, all your, uh, your pieces of geometry are much more evenly spaced than they otherwise would be. Uh, now I'll go over the hypernerm in more detail later. Undo that a few times with Control Z. So there are about similar options here. You can also flip the normals, which will flip um, just if you make this object edible. There are your normals. It'll flip those. Uh, probably don't need to most of the time. 